have a bone to pick with you. We need to have a discussion about the business aspect of things. 50-50, like what is this to discuss? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I agree with you and I'm 100% Let's get the opinion here. No, I'm, I'm, I agree with you and I'm good. But that's what I was going on today that we were yeah, just Of course, split of course. I, I'm, I'm in agreement with that. We split expenses, we split profits, we split time, we split everything. But you know what? How many times do people not talk about this stuff? Well, guess what? We got our own video now. That's what I'm saying. It's... it's Agreement? This is... Love you. Bye. So how many emails do you get a day? Me? Yeah. I don't know because I like it feels it seems like I'm always answering an email. So I before I go to bed, the last thing I do at night and it'll be silver emailing me the short sheet <laughs> at two AM. You know, so I'm always answering emails. So I've never really quantified how many things I get a day, but I'm always on an email right now, so better than getting a phone call. Sure. Tell you that. Like too many phone calls for me. Just email me, please. That's why he doesn't answer any of my phone I, calls. Because I'm on an email. When I call, I emails, I'll get a response. Phone calls, nothing. No. I've worked with many boards, many organizations, I've produced many destination events. Um, and one thing with our community as well, I don't know why it is, but it's hard for them to support. My main inspiration and goal for Carib Style Week is to really give designers coming out of the Caribbean a platform that they can showcase their work on a level that's say like Mercedes Benz Fashion Week. The Caribbean community to me, it's, it's really there. It's where I'm from, it's who I know. And um, uh, it's it's also the, the only thing over here that has really disappointed me um, to the point where, you know, I don't know what else I can do to contribute significantly um, uh, to shaping the direction that this entire diaspora moves. What, ha what I have been able to do is, is to, number one, pull back from doing these large format events which at the end of the day was not supported. So I was constantly outlaying my own cash and in putting up my own money, I've lost a lot of my own money. But so many people yeah. go into things without, particularly friends, right? I mean, I've oh, lost yeah, some a, friends yeah. over it and you've lost some friends over it. It's, you have Actually, to get- I have no friends now. This is a really great lesson for people mm -hmm. who are starting out, who are trying to venture, put things together and partnerships and obviously I think it's the most uncomfortable conversation to have with somebody that you know or somebody that you know is close to you. So speak about money and, and, and I, I, I have a, a hard time even sometimes um, speaking to my friends about, okay, we're going to do this together. Mm -hmm. I need an agreement. It's you almost see how I'm the one who brought it up? Yeah, it's almost like boundaries. Yeah. See, my hands are sweaty, like my Your heart is starts starting to... So. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay to be uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, his balls are sweaty. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm telling you, man.